Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this video presentation for the second module of our Fit for DJ Line course. Um, this module is about creating and using in your online classroom uh, mind maps, flashcards and comics. And in this video, this particular video, we're going to focus on mind maps, right? So first of all, let's uh, see what a mind map can look like. Here we have an example. Um, it's a, as you can see, it's a very useful tool to organize ideas, uh, to, to bring them together, see how they are connected and visualize them. It makes it a lot easier to, to work with them uh, once you see physic once you can physically see how they are interconnected. In this case, we have a very simple one. It's a family tree with a person in the middle, me with who are connected to dad and mom right and brother and sister and you can see how from dad and mom stem all their two lines and you can see that they are connected to grandpa and grandma right and the grandpa and grandma are also connected to the aunt which would be the sister of of dad you can create another line to connect them and from the aunt and the uncle stem housing so a very simple and interesting way that catches the attention of your students and makes it a lot easier to work with any kind of content. The simplest one and the more complex ones. So now we're going to see how you can easily create them uh, online without needing any advanced skills. There are uh, different web pages, different tools that you can use. You can use Prezi, you can use presentation uh, like, like this one you can use many pages in this case we're focusing on this one here which is called mind map right so um, this is what it looks like when you first enter it and as with many other tools that we are going to see uh, you can either create uh, an account or you can start by creating a free mind map, right? When you begin, you see this and you can edit this one. Uh, we can start by setting the main idea, for example, for the one for this course, teaching online, okay? Teaching online, right? Add it there. And from here, we can create what are called child notes. We're going to create four of them. Uh, the three, sorry, of them. The, the one that we're seeing now, mind maps. Okay. Then another one, but it's not going to be a child note for this one, so we erase it. Mind maps, another child note, or could be a sibling note for this of mind maps, which are comics, and then another child note, uh, which is going to be uh, flashcards. Okay, now um, from these ideas, we can get in mind maps the tool that we use for it. Mind maps. Okay, and another one saying, for example, organize ideas. So this is what it's going to be used for, for. Organize ideas, there we go. Now, from the comics, the tool that we're going to see how to use is called um, Storyboard That. More on that in another video. And for example, um, we can do another one. It's very simple to say that it's to illustrate concepts. Illustrate concepts. There we go. And the same for flashcards. We illustrate concepts too. And we're going to create them in, in the video that you'll have access to later on, we're going to create them with Canva. 
So there you go. Now you know what you are going to need for, for teaching online, for improving your te online teaching skills, and what you're going to need to create mind maps, comics, and flashcards. As simple as that. Right? So, this is the main idea of mind maps. Now, see you in the next video, which is going to be about comics. See you.